I'm going to score an overtime winner with the highest overall player on every single team. Starting with the Anaheim Ducks, we have two guys tied at an 87 overall, and that's going to be Troy Terry and Trevor Zegras. Now, this first goal doesn't represent what this entire video is going to be about. I just had to include this one because this is peak NHL 23 right here. Trevor Zegras is going to throw the puck on net. It's going to take about 19 different deflections before it ends up in the back of the net. That's our first overtime winner of the day. Once again, this doesn't represent all the overtime winners being scored today. Heading over to our next team, we've got 89 overall Clayton Keller leading the Arizona Coyotes. We're just about halfway into overtime and Soderstrom, he's bringing the puck into the zone. He's going to stall a bit for Clayton Keller to catch up, and then Keller's going to send a rocket right over Sorokin's glove. The highest overall player in the Boston Bruins is going to be 94 overall David Pasternak. And it's not going to take long for Pasta to get on the board. A great poke check is going to get the puck away from Petrangelo. Pasta's going to be collecting the puck, and he's turning on the Jets. He's going to fake the shot, and then he's going glove side on the goaltender. Up next is one of the best up-and-coming teams in the league in the Buffalo Sabres, and lean the way is going to be 91 overall Rasmus Dahlin. Okay, so stick on the ice as a clown like usual, and you forgot to unpause the recording software, but we're going to ignore that. Darlene's going to try to catch the goaltender sleeping as he's trying to go short side, but he's picking up his own rebound, wrapping around the net, and he's getting one past Soros. The first Canadian team we're going to be seeing today is the Calgary Flames, and they got 289 overalls leading the way. That's going to be Jonathan Huberto and Elias Lindholm. So with Calgary on the power play, it's time for them to go to work. And Huberto, respectfully, I don't know what the goalie was doing here. There's no reason this shot should have went in the back of the net, respectfully. It's time for us to go back to another powerhouse team, and we got the Carolina Hurricanes up next. At 89 overall Seshnikov, he's going to be tied with 89 overall Sebastian. Sebastian Ajo, so we're scoring with one of these guys. And which of these two guys is it going to be? Well, it's going to be Sebastian Ajo. He's going between the legs and he's got the defender absolutely lost. A nice backhander into the net. That goal can look much better. So we went from one of the best teams in the Carolina Hurricanes to the worst team in the league by far, the Chicago Blackhawks. So I do want to mention something. In my last video, I said that this Chicago Blackhawks team win win more than three more games for the rest of the season. Since I made that statement, the Chicago Blackhawks are 2 0 defeating the Boston Bruins and Nashville Predators. And with Chicago being an absolute dog water team, we're going to score one of the worst goals I've ever seen. What is the defense doing? This is peak NHL 23, by the way. I'm playing on all-star difficulty, full sim style. This is the defense they play. Enough trash in the Chicago Blackhawks. We got the Colorado Avalanche up next. They got two guys sitting at 94 overall. That's Kale McCarr and Nathan McKinnon. And before we score with the Colorado Avalanche, I'm trying to pass the New York Rangers and YouTube subscribers. And with 73% of the people watching this video not being subscribed, I won't be able to do that. So if you haven't already subscribed, turn notifications on and help me pass the New York Rangers. And of course, with these two guys being absolutely elite. I want to get them both in the mix. Makar's getting lit up, but Rantanen's picking up the puck. He's dishing it over to Nathan McKinnon, and he's burying that one in the back of the net. Next up is the Columbus Blue Jacket, and we've got the newest Blue Jacket, Johnny Hockey, who's sitting at an 89 overall. We're not too far into overtime, but Johnny Hockey, he's turning on the Jets here. A nice little swivel move, and he's scoring on Vigelmik. Nothing amazing about this goal, so we're heading to the next one. And with our next team, we've got the Dallas Stars and 91 overall Jason Robertson. And with Jason Robertson being one of the best snipers in the game, i got to get an elite goal here. Now that's cap. I don't even know how I got by the defenseman here, but we were able to get that shot past Merzlikin, so I'll take it. Next up is Detroit, and we got the man who just secured a bag, Dylan Larkin, who's sitting at an 89 overall. And of course, if we're scoring with Dylan Larkin, that means he's turning on the Jets. He's getting between all the defenders here just through pure speed. And then he's going to get this backhander off over Vasilevsky's shoulder. Up next is the highest overall player in the game and that's Connor McDavid who's sitting at 97 overall. With less than 30 seconds left in overtime, Connor McDavid's going to be fighting off Labushkin. He's going to be able to get the puck, a little toe drag, and that's in the back of the neck, getting it past Udo Pekalukkanen or Craig Anderson, one of the two. Up next is the Florida Panthers and Matthew Kuchuk, he's sitting at 92 overall, but so is Barkov. So it's going to be one of these guys picking up a goal. With Florida on a power play, it's time for us to go to work. Matthew Kuchuk's bringing the puck into the zone. He's going to be doing a back skate move here, a dish over to Barkov who's sitting wide open in front of the net, and with that goal, Florida's taking this one home. Up next is one of the few defense in this video and that's going to be Drew Doughty who's sitting at an 89 overall. Doughty's going to be picking the puck up along the boards and he's going to try to go short side on Vasilevsky. Of course that's not going to work so he's going to grab his rebound, wrap around the net and he's going to tuck this one past him. Heading over to the central division we got Minnesota up next and Kirill the throw he's going to be leading the way from Minnesota at 91 overall. So we're just going to watch the entire overtime here. I'm winning the face off. Spurgeon's going to get it over to Kaprizov. He's going to do a nice spin move here and we just scored. Five seconds into overtime. Now that was a nice goal, not going to lie. After scoring in the Western Conference, it's time to go back over to the East and Nick Suzuki, he's going to be leading the Montreal Canadiens at an 87 overall. Now I wish I could say Suzuki's goal was as impressive as Kaprizov's, but it's clearly not. He's just wrapping around the net and getting this past Sorokin. So we'll just head to the next team and that team's going to be the Nashville Predators and Roman Yossi, he's a 93 overall. With two minutes left in overtime, Roman Yossi, he's going to keep skating around until he has enough space.
face. And when he does, he's going to be ripping this one top shelf. One of the brightest stars in the NHL is up next as Jack Hughes. He's a 90 overall lean the New Jersey Devils. So we're just going to watch this entire goal as well. Jack Hughes, he's going to bring the puck into the zone. A windmill D, he's going to lose control, but he's going to regain it in the corner. He's going to head towards the front of the net. A little toe drag move right to the back end. He's got the goaltender absolutely lost. So he's going to bury this one past Talbot. Sticking in the Metro division, we got the New York Islanders up next. And Bo Horvat, he's going to be sitting at 88 overall, but so is Matt Barzell. Once again, we're just going to watch this entire sequence. Matt Barzell, he's going to bring the puck into the zone. And I just want to give a round of applause to the Philly defenders. Because what was that defenseman doing? He just completely ignored Barzell. Up next is another New York team. And that's the Rangers. And Artemi Panarin, he's going to be the highest overall at a 93. So I don't play NHL 23 that much. But what's wrong with the defense in this game? Artemi Panarin, he's just going to skate past everyone. Try to go short side. He's not going to be able to. He's going to get the rebound in the corner. Nobody defends him whatsoever. He's picking up the hat trick. He's scoring another goal here. But like, does the CPU understand? what's going on. After staying in New York for so long, it's time for us to play with another Canadian team, and that's going to be the Ottawa Senators. We got an 89 overall, Alexander Dabrinkat, and 89 overall, Brady Kachuk is the top players. With three minutes left in overtime, Dabrinkat's got the puck, and he's turning on the Jets. He's going to go for the one-handed tuck. He's going to absolutely run the goalie over, but that doesn't matter because it's not goaltender interference, and we scored the OT winner. The next player we're going to be scoring with is Sean Couturier from the Philadelphia Flyers, who's sitting at an 88 overall. Couturier is going to be picking up the puck in the neutral zone, and with both defenders focusing on the other guy, Couturier is just going to go bar down to end the game. Up next is one of the greatest players of all time in a Pittsburgh legend, 93 overall Sid the Kid. Crosby's got the puck in his own zone, he's looking to lead the rush. He's going to get tied up along the boards, but he's somehow going to get past his defender. He's going to drive straight to the front of the net, and of course, he's going for the beauty backhand, and he's going to be beating Simpson off. The San Jose Sharks are up next, and 90 overall Eric Carlson, you're the highest overall. And congrats on having a career season with the worst San Jose team you've ever been on. Like, that doesn't make sense. How did you have a career year with this team? So we're just going to watch this entire sequence here. I'm winning the face off, and Eric Carlson, what are you going to do? that's incredibly special here. Nothing. I'm just skating in between everyone. I didn't do a single deke. I just skated in between everyone. Interesting. Taking a look at the newest franchise in the NHL, we have two guys tied in 85 overall. Vince Dunn, thank you for having a career season once you left St. Louis, and Andre Burakovsky. But just seconds left in the Seattle power play, is going to pick up the puck in the offensive zone, and then he's going to do a spin move to get in between two defenders. Unfortunately, he's losing the puck, but he's going to pick it up alongside the boards. He's going to fight past one defender, and he's driving straight to the front of the net where he's tucking this one past John. On Gibson. Of course, the greatest franchise of all time is up next, and that's the St. Louis Blues with Jordan Cairo and 88 overall leading the way. And I feel like something happened with the St. Louis Blues the other day, I can't really remember. It probably had something to do with Jordan Bennington being very respectful and calm, not being hot headed whatsoever. I think it happened during the Minnesota game. I think someone dropped their stick or something and he went and handed it to them. I don't know. He was probably being a very calm player and doing respectful things like he normally does. Just seconds into overtime, Kyrou's ready to go to work. A spin move here. He's going to stop and go, getting in between the defense, and then a backhander's beating the goaltender. Heading over to Tampa Bay, 94 overall, Nikita Kucherov's going to be the highest overall. Boston's going to be getting an elite chance to score here, but Chernak, he's going to be blocking that shot, and that's going to allow Nikita Kucherov to go on a breakaway. And of course, we know he's not going to ruin that opportunity, so he's potting the winner. We only have two more Canadian teams after this one, and lean the Toronto Maple Leafs is going to be 94 overall, Austin Matthews. Matthews is going to be going for a loose puck, but Cousins is getting there first, so he's got to finish his check, of course. And once he's got control of the puck, he's driving to the front of the net, and he's going to beat Craig Anderson. And it's time for us to go back to back with Canadian teams in Vancouver. You got Elias Pettersson sitting at 90 overall. Pedersen's going to be gaining control of the puck in the defensive zone, and he's going to turn on the Jets. And it's time for a nice little give and go with Hughes, and that's going to be an easy goal for Pedersen. Looking at the Vegas Golden Knights, they're going to be the only team in the video with three players tied at the same overall. They've got Jack Eichel at an 89 overall, Mark Stone at an 89 overall, and Alex Petrangelo at an 89 overall. And out of these three guys, who's going to be scoring the goal? That's going to be Jack, just 12 seconds into overtime. He's driving to the front of the net. A little toe drag move is going to have Gustafson lost, and Jack Eichel's finishing this game off. Of course, we're going to be scoring an OT winner with one of the greatest goal scorers of all time, Alexander Ovechkin, who's a 92 overall. And with Washington on the power play, of course, Ovi's going to be scoring a one-timer here. I wish it was a one-timer because this is a greasy goal, but we'll take it. The Winnipeg Jets being our final team of the video, we got two guys tied at an 89 overall. That's going to be Kyle Connor and Mark Shifley. With the Winnipeg Jets on the power play, Mark Shifley knows it's time to go to work. He's going to enter the offensive zone and immediately go into a little back skate move. Somehow he's going to get between multiple defenders and nobody's able to put a body on him, and that's going to give him enough time to rip the game winner over John Gibson's glove. And with that goal from Shifley, I've officially scored an OT winner with the highest overall on every NHL team.